All right, Knights of Apollo, what is up? Welcome back to another glorious siege battle. You can hear the civilians screaming. Look at them. Look at this. This is not what you want to do during a siege battle as a civilian. You don't want to be you don't want to be randomly running around <laughs> running around with a random sword in the open in the streets. You just look at them. Look at them. You want to you want to take shelter. You want to go to the keep. You want to board up, maybe fight if the battle gets to you. I mean, it just depends, you know? Like this is not what you want to do. And I do love the the modding team here of 1212. Did make these guys look very medieval in terms of their wardrobe. Some of these guys actually looking pretty pretty noble right now. Like they got some wealth um, so yeah, um, welcome to another 1212 AD Siege battle. This is a medieval mod for Total War Attila. And this is going to be a little uh, battle of beliefs, I guess you could say. We have the Teutonic Order uh, taking on pagans. So we have Lithuania. And we have a Lithuanian ally, which is Kiev. So Kiev is going to be joining. And you see some of their, some of their forces here. And on the uh, Teutonic Order side, well, of course, we have, well, the Teutonic Order. And there is a little bit of a Cav Sally out, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but we also have, we have Bohemia. So Bohemia is going to be joining this uh, pagan hunting crusade. And then finally, over on the other side, we have the Holy Roman Empire, the Big Daddy himself, right here on the battlefield. So this is going to be a lot of fun. Let's go back over to this Cav little sally out where it looks like the uh, the attackers are massing up their cav to try to counter this cav charge you can see we've got the Holy Roman Empire sending over some Imperial Knights uh, we have two units of cav oh this is Kiev pushing towards Bohemia so we have Bohemian Knights kind of standing their ground and they might go in here and I think they are uh, that's not a bad idea because you can actually cut down this cav if you can prevent them from going into the city and you can see the uh, Kiev Cav, the senior Drazina, Drazina, they're trying to get close to this wall. And they're probably going to use the archers. Yep, sure enough. That's a good move right there. Good move by Kiev. That's what I definitely recommend you guys do. If you ever have Cav that's caught out of place, retreat them towards your walls and use the archers on the walls to kind of protect them. Even if they fully com Oh, look at this volley right here. Even if they fully commit their Cav against yours... Uh, it's going to be a pretty close battle because you're going to have that archer support and you're going to do a lot of damage to him. So that was a great move by Kiev. I really like that one. And um, a good call from uh, the Teutonic Order to, to back away and not engage uh, that unit because it would have been pretty costly and not worth it for taking out a couple units here. Uh, but they're not going back in. Look at this. They're not going back in. I like this. You know, make them think you're going to retreat back into your castle. No, you're still going out. You're still ready to boogie party. You're going to run down some some Christians, I guess, is, is what they're going for. Uh, again, only role-playing here, guys. Like, you know, not, not going to, like, favor anything here. This is all just, like, a historical thing. So, you know, if I say, oh, they're killing Christians, it's, it's you know, just a little, like, role-play. I, I don't... I, anyways... Uh, we do have a bit of a skirmish going on here. Uh, I'm kind of surprised the Holy Roman Empire would even kind of use their ammo on a target way up here. It just seems like a waste of ammo. But maybe they're just trying to suppress them, trying to keep them... I, I don't know, like nobody's really dying. I saw a couple blood splatters there, but I don't think anyone's fallen yet. Yeah, 160, 160 in both units. But they're over here, they're lighting up the infantry that are making a push. And look at this, we got a ladder up to the walls. So what do we have? What kind of unit? Uh, bar okay, I'm not going to pronounce that, but it's a medium melee infantry. And then we've got uh, some sergeant spearmen. And then we have another medium melee infantry. So they're going to go and quickly take these walls. And yeah, the defenders are not defending these. They're just going to give them up. And I think they're going to use this uh, this high ground. Look at that. Look at that high ground. They just fire down and start doing damage to these, um, these uh, holy Roman boys. Holy Roman boys. So, no push yet from the Teutonic Order. You know the Holy Roman Empire is like, Damn it, Teutonic Order, this was your idea. We're taking losses over here. We, we also have the Siege Towers. And this is... 
This is the Holy Roman Empire as well. So they're probably going to push over and support uh, the Teutonic Order. But I think they're trying to either bring down the towers or do some damage to the walls. We'll find out. So yeah, as you heard, the Holy Roman Empire has taken the gate and now push upon the pagan. This is going to be the first infantry clash right here. Look at Lithuania holds their ground. They hold their ground. So an epic little stand here. It's going to be uh, quite the battle for the Holy Roman Empire as this is a well-established position and they need to keep pumping out troops and it looks like they are. And they're absorbing a lot of arrows, which is going to be rough for the Holy Roman Empire, but hopefully it will give their allies a little bit more of an opportunity to not have to deal with enemy archers. And oh, there's a little barricade with crossbows on them. Look at that. Oh my god, and this unit's getting shredded. And now we have artillery going for the archers. Oh no. Okay, that's not a good that's not a good use. I don't think you should use the artillery there. Again, it's just hard to hit. And it's probably better to save the artillery for choke point areas and like areas that you know you can hit more accurately. But yeah, these archers are <laughs> they've got a great sight on the Holy Roman Empire, which they still have a decent sized force here, but they're kind of sending in the troops in waves. And they're just absorbing a lot of ammo. Now the balance of power is greatly in favor of the attackers. So they're definitely going to need those, those archers. And this would be a good target to go after right here. It looks like they did a little bit. This unit has taken some heavy losses. And this is really bad for the defenders because look at all the chevrons on these guys. they got three silver chevrons. So you want to try to keep them alive. And only what you only want to see them die in close combat rather than getting picked off from a distance. Over here, Bohemia is pushing up some sergeants and also feeling the wrath. They're 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 uh, they're getting showered from from arrows coming down. So oh yeah, absolute slaughter from these arrows up here from these archers <laughs> from the archers. I've never seen this Luke. Say Luke Luke. Nick, Nick, I I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't know. I don't know my uh my Kiev. Anyways, yeah, the skirmish is uh, getting pretty pretty nasty, and I think that's why he's gonna fully commit here. And I I almost feel like they're trying to bait the ammo a bit before they fully commit. Here comes some Drazina. So we have Kiev pushing out some Cav. This might be a good little maneuver here. They're going for the artillery, and there's honestly. There's some war. <laughs> they released the ward hounds, dog heads, and they're like they're running back. They're like, no, that's actually, um, you know, I don't know if this is like a historical thing, and maybe people are more familiar with this than than me, of course. But I know, like, in person, horses at times are scared of dogs. You know, at times they're a little, you know, a little timid around dogs. Unless it's a horse that's familiar with dogs. So it wouldn't be a surprise to see like a cab unit kind of like, whoa, 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 that's a that's a huge unit of dogs there that, uh, you know, that could scare the calf, essentially. Scare the calf and make them run away. So I don't know. Maybe maybe that's there's some there's a practical reason for the little dog charge there, but I don't think that's an in-game mechanic is what I'm trying to say. Uh, but let's go back over to this side. Again, um, it looks like the Holy Roman Emperor kind of called off the attack. You can see it was just devastating for the men. Just death everywhere. Lots of death up here. It looks like the Holy Roman Empire. And look at the pagans. You know, they're probably Lithuanians. They're probably standing over these bodies and thinking, all right. Yeah, we just slaughtered all these men. They're not taking our homes. They're not taking our freedom. All right, so the Teutonic Order is finally moving up. Now that they took care of the uh, arrow towers, they're gonna go in. I think the Holy Roman Empire is pushing as well. So this is a this is gonna be a huge assault for this wall right here. Whenever they get up there. Meanwhile, there is a little bit of a fight going on here with the sergeants getting focused down. 
And here comes some Cav. Oh, yeah, it's some Cav getting a hammer and anvil from Kiev. So a good little stand by Kiev. It's going to be brutal. Uh, these, these arrows, I mean, they are just doing some heavy damage. Really nasty damage to the attackers. So the attackers are probably hoping to... Um, I mean, in my mind, what I'm I'm trying to do is trying to get them to use all their ammo early on. That way, when it comes to the late game and the critical like attack on this like inner defense, they're not gonna have that archer capability. But yeah, this is another thing that I think the attackers need to do. They need to push up their archers, and they they need to try to close the gap and do some damage to the enemy archers. Here's a little push right here. Noble Swordsman. Some Sword Brother going in. So finally the Teutonic Order is fully committed and they are feeling the wrath of those archers. It's pretty nasty. Go on, see these Swordsmen go in. They're holding position here for a second. I don't know if it just glitched out or what. But this unit's moving up as well. The ram is moving up to the gate. Some medium spear infantry. Armored sergeants moving up as well. So the Holy Roman Empire with their three units moving up to try to help. Let's go look at what the, the Holy Roman Empire is doing here. They are pushing some troops up through the gate. Some sergeant spearmen. And now Noble Swordsman moving out. And look at this. Oh my god. Look at this bombardment of artillery hitting these guys as they try to close in against the Holy Roman Empire. That was good. That was a good little uh, bait there, essentially. It's like you got these spears. They're going to hold position. Oh my god. This is sick. Look at this. Oh! Oh! And now the archers are supporting as well. But why is Lithuania pushing so much? It's like they're asking to die from artillery. Yeah. Oh, now we got... Wait, where did these dogs come from? It's... Wait, this is Bohemia's dogs! I have Bohemian dogs. They've made it all the way around to this side of the settlement. That's, that's hilarious. Sword brother taking on the militia spears. Noble swordsman holding. More infantry coming up. From uh, Lithuania. Or I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't want to confuse those factions. From the Teutonic Order. So it's a full on attack for this outer region. And it's getting nasty. Oh this guy lost his head. But this is a good push by uh, the Holy Roman Empire. Definitely trying to support. I like the fact that they dedicated three units over to this side. It, you know really try to. Get the defenders to spread out and help out his teammate. It was, I think it was a nice play there. And then Bohemia is hanging back as well. Look at this. They're just having a tough time with this initial assault. Uh, assault. I think they should have stayed closer together. Uh, like uh, That's one thing I personally like to do. Is stay closer to my allies so you could easily support each other. Oh, artillery coming in. That is insane. How it... Oh, now it's getting some friendly fire. Oh, they didn't kill any friendlies there. But yeah, that's a risky target to go after with your artillery as a defender. There goes that archer fire coming in on these Teutonic, Teutonic guys. The swordsman. So an awesome fight there. Really cool. Um, more and more Teutonic forces. You can just see them streaming down the siege towers 
And we've got these like malicious spearmen holding them back. I like it. They're using a really cheap unit to hold them in place and then using the archers to get the job done. Uh, we've got the armored sergeants. They are pushing on the flank of these spears. So that's a little bit of a problem causing a little bit of a break. But here comes a counter charge by the Duchal heavy axemen. Ducal? Ducal? I don't know how to pronounce it. Chal? Ducal? I don't know. <laughs> Do I ever know how to pronounce anything? Uh, but yeah, the heavy axemen are pushing and um, going to stop the sergeants. And unfortunately, the Holy, Ro Holy Roman Empire's push here has pretty much been crushed. Now back over this way, Lithuania has pushed back the spears. And the dogs, I assume. And now the cav, noble cavalry, is coming. Oh my god, no noble cavalry. Look at this, Senior Drazina charges out and gets these uh, these archers by surprise. And Lithuania wants a piece of that action. And he's pushing in as well. So the archers are trying to hold. They're actually doing a pretty... Pretty good job. These are pretty good archers. They're they're making their stand. And here comes the Holy Roman Empire with their calf. Try to support them. We got some Imperial Knights. Here comes some Sword Brothers. Noble swordsman. Got these heavy axes trying to hold the line. But it's a ferocious fight here and lots of artillery fire. There's a big clumping here. They could try to focus on this big clump of reserves with the artillery. Lots of infantry reserves for the uh, for the Teutonic Order as well. And I think we even have troops moving over from Bohemia to send over and try to help push. And they kind of left this area open. Yeah, Bohemia, man, it's been struggling. The balance of power still in favor of the attackers by a good amount. If we're looking at kills... Um, Wow, actually, <laughs> the attackers have almost, yeah, they almost have a thousand less than the defenders. But it's probably the balance of powers uh, is more like, you know, the quality of troop for the attackers is much better than the defenders. And that's why the defenders have more, more numbers. But, you know, they got to they gotta start chopping down these Lithuanians if they want any chance of winning this one. Because so far, the Lithuanians have just held their ground and made the you know, Germanic kingdoms here and orders suffer. Look at this. This stand here by, by Lithuania. Giving it their all. And, I mean, it's still a close fight. You can see uh, the order is starting to break a little bit. They're now pushing through the gates. They're trying to push as many flanks as possible. Many opportunities of, of attacking. Trying to cause the defenders to thin out. If we go to the Holy Roman Empire. So, they kind of dealt with the cav problem. Uh, so they're, they no, don't have to worry about that. The archers are still moved up. And there's a swordsman unit. And this ladder. Oh no. The ladder was destroyed. They can't use that. There, there's still another ladder over here. But this one's on fire as well. And archers are now focusing fire on the infantry. But here's the thing guys. With with this. Oh I don't know. Do slow mo. With this push right here. It's causing a lot of Lithuanian infantry to commit to this side. And it's kind of opened up this area a little bit. 
but it's still pretty nasty because we do have some crossbows that are probably just going to get on this barricade and just start shooting at anything that comes this way. It's kind of just like a death trap here, this zone right here. It's just death valley. You can hit them here, you can hit them from here, you can hit them right in the center, and it's just slaughter. So I just think they all should have focused their efforts in this big area right here. I think that would have been a better situation for them. But it does seem like the Teutonic Order is starting to chip away at the defenders. And they might actually break through here pretty quickly. Uh, or soon. And if they do that, they can help the, uh, the Holy Roman Empire. There we go. A big push in the gate. And the, the gate troops are winning decisively. Wow. Militia winning decisively against these heavy axemen. But I don't think that's gonna I don't think that's gonna stay the same. Oh my god, this all this archer fire. Oh no, this guy set on fire. He got behind enemy lines and this is how he ends. Oh poor guy. Oh that's gotta be such a painful death. Oh my god. Rest in peace. Look he's like in the he's a fetal position here. Oh man. Tragic. War as hell, man. Alright, so back this way, um, Sword Brothers still pushing against Noble Swordsmen. And did they actually, is this, oh, this is Bohemia. Bohemia is now sending up the troops. Look at this, he's got some sergeants. They're on the walls for some reason. But jeez, Lithuania is still, still doing a good job of holding these walls. They might want to send a couple units to flank around here. Like, they've got, just use these, uh, these... Um, siege equipment. Oh, we actually have some units over here. We've got uh, some dismounted knights just waiting. They might mobilize and, and start pushing on the flank. Balance of power is uh, is still in favor of the attackers, but it has shifted a little bit closer to the defenders. And good hit there going after the archers and this uh, heavy smurred spearmen. <laughs> smurred. Smurred. The archers are opening fire on the artillery. Look at the range on these guys. Good God. Look at that. Look at you. Even the artillery's like, please. Like, how can you reach us? Beep, 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 beep. Look at not even phased. They're like, whatever. I don't care. I hate my job. It's Monday. <laughs> We're losing a lot of men. Lots of breaking going on here. Look at this from both sides. More so the... Oh, hello. Hello, look at that volley. Took out quite a bit there. But yeah, lots of breaking going on. Let's see who breaks first. I think the order is going to need some more men. Alright, so here comes the uh, dismounted Imperial Knights. They're about to move up on the position. Some Prussian archers closing in. I think they're going to try to soften up this flank with archer fire. The Prussian archers. Oftentimes they call them Persian archers. Because <laughs> I'm an idiot. Uh, but yeah, this fight right here is pretty ferocious. Like, it's pretty even. That's why I like watching this one. Because, like, both sides are starting to waver. God, this is crazy. I love this mod. It's so good. So this archer fire. Here we go. Here comes uh, fresh recruits here from Bohemia. Some sergeants coming in. So maybe not quite fresh recruits, but I don't know, guys. I mean, oh, here we go. Here comes the knights. And this is the, the Cavs trying to contain them. See if the, the knights can kind of hold this tower, capture it, and, and, and destroy it. And now we have some axemen, it looks like. 
No, they're, they're kind of like getting pushed away. But it looked like they were trying to hold back these knights with Axemen, but this is going to be key. This is kind of like make or break for the whole, uh, the, for the Teutonic Order and the Holy Roman Empire. Because these knights are so expensive that if they get gunned down by archers or run down by Cav without being, you know, super effective and killing enemies, and then it's going to be a big waste of money. But yeah, the knights are just storming in. Look at the back lines. Oh my god! What the hell? That's a lot of archer fire. Here comes that flanking charge. And that's going to break a lot of the defenders. And they're not pushing up infantry. I think they're just going to kind of let it happen. Oh my god, but men are breaking. Bohemia is wavering. Are they pushing over on this side? Yes, they are. They're pushing. Bohemia is now sending sergeants this way. But we've got, oh boy, we've got some uh, Rus javelin men. Uh, did they use up their, I guess they did use up their ammo. The spears are charging in. Swordsmen, they're full on charging. Bohemia is full on charging over here. There is a break going on on this flank for the defenders. If they can keep swinging around with the extra infantry... They should be able to push through the uh, the defenders. But the defenders are doing the same thing. They won over here. Now they're swinging around to try to meet this other flank. Artillery firing. Let's see. What is he go? Oh, is he trying to snipe the general? What is he going for? What is this? It's like damn tree in the back. I'm going to light that thing on fire. All right. So let's go back over to this side. Where we've got more knights, dismounted knights moving up. Yeah, you can try doing uh, some damage to the village. It's at 15% doing a minus 3 uh, debuff to a couple different categories. Ooh, nice little charge though. Knights really taking a punch there. But now that the, uh, the charge is over and the troops are settled into a melee, these knights should rack up some kills. Currently, the knights are at 41 and so are the noble, noble swordsmen. Look at that. Pretty much the same amount of kills. And here we go. Look at this push by these Imperial Knights. Trying to push on the flank. It's a little laggy over here. There's a lot of units. But these Imperial Knights trying to be the, uh, the turn of the tide, essentially. Trying to break these guys. And clear up this outer area. Uh oh, here comes this volley. Ooh, a lot of friendly fire, but they did kill some enemies. Maybe they're trying to get them to break. Ah, uh, it's gonna be tough. There we go. Oh no, they didn't take the gate yet. And the cab is getting, uh, well, they're getting oiled. Not in a good way. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Uh, but yeah, more and more cab pushing up, trying to run down the archers who still have a decent amount of ammo. But the cab is breaking. Oh my god, they broke. That was kind of reckless with the cab there. Catapult crew fighting the noble swordsman. Heavy axemen running down. So no full commit commitment yet from the Holy Roman Empire on this side. I get it though. I think he's just waiting for uh, his ally to push through here. But I don't know. Let's see. Look at the balance of power is even now. After so much fighting, it's even. Huge break. And now it's actually starting to go in favor of the attackers again. Because of this big break. Look at this. They finally they had enough. They had enough and they're falling back. Let's go over the Bohemia side. Which they still haven't taken these arrow towers, which are still shooting at them. They're trying, man. They're trying. These arrow towers are crazy in Attila. And it is really dumb that you can't use them against the defenders. Like in Rome 2, you can capture arrow towers and they just fall apart. That's so dumb. I hate that mechanic in Attila. But nice little stand here by spearmen against these uh, sergeant spearmen and sergeants. Uh, 
And now we've got a Cav Force running down the retreating forces. Look at this. Teutonic Order. Going in. Running them down. Chopping them up. So sick. Look at these look at these knights. Oh, look at that head turn. Like, ugh. He's like breaking his neck to look down. It's pretty awesome watching Teutonic Knights slaughter people. <laughs> There's some war dogs in there too. And there we go, they slaughter those guys. Now there's a spear unit holding this choke point. Obviously the cav is not gonna engage that. And now might be the time for the Holy Roman Empire to start pushing, and I think that's what he's going to do. He's pushing up the uh, siege tower. Now, this is still in favor of the attackers, guys. They can still win this battle. Now, going up here and attacking this area is going to be absolutely brutal, but it's a possibility. They can, they can pull off some really good archer hits. Hopefully, they still have archer ammo, and hopefully the enemy doesn't. Bohemian Knights taking on these uh, heavy smeared... Schmeer schmeerman. Sounds like something the Muppet would say in it. Schmeer schmeer. I'm sure I'm mispronouncing it, but whatever. These Javis trying to skirmish down the archers right behind the lines. It looks like we got archers trying to skirmish them down. Now we're down to the last 20 minutes of this replay, and it's still fairly close. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know, guys. The defenders, let's see, what do they got up here? They got these heavy axemen, which could be weak to archer fire. Focus them down with archers. They got the general. They got two artillery. One, two artillery. Some heavy axe. Yeah, it's just heavy axemen. This archer unit's out of ammo, pretty much. This one still has full ammo. That's going to be a problem. But if you save your ammo for the axemen and kill them from afar... I think they could easily take this. I think they could easily take this. Uh, not easily. It's still going to be tough, but... Holy crap. Look at this battle. Look at this battle. That's cool. That's a cool shot right there. That's awesome. Alright, so some guard axemen pushing in. Here comes the cab charge. Oh, fantastic charge there. Really good charge against these axemen. They should cycle charge too. I don't think they should stay in the fight for too long. Because the axes will do a lot of damage. Oh my god, look at this. That's awesome. What a shot right there. Look at this guy. He's like, hey, how's it going? <laughs> you getting some cool shots of the battle? Do I look good? Well. Oh, man. Look at this guy go. What are you? <laughs> Another cav unit charges in. Oh my god, this is so sick. That's so cool. Gotta love the classic Teutonic Order versus Lithuania. Another big cav charge here. Going into some spears. Not really doing much though. The spears were braced for impact. They were ready for that. Uh-oh, Bohemia is starting to break over here. They're starting to thin out. And the uh, the epic stand here from Kiev is uh, causing some issues. 
Now the archers are trying to soften them up a little bit. I don't think they have much. Yeah, that's it for infantry over here. They're sending in artillery crew now. Oh, little cab battle. Cab v cab. Oh. That's awesome. That archer fire in the background, the Teutonic Knights pushing up. That's cool. Here we go, the Holy Roman Empire. Pushing up with some dismounted Imperial Knights. They get charged a little bit, but they should take care of this calf pretty quickly. Now they're getting flanked by archers. Oh, I'm sorry, no, those, that's the Holy Roman Empire. My bad. Archers going in to support the, the melee. There we go. They're breaking. And they still have a unit of infantry here. They've got some crossbows, which are going to be key. And now here comes a flank over here trying to get around the defenders. There's some spears. Here they go. Boom. Boom. The Cav is getting is getting many kills here. They're at 150 kills. Very nice job there. Slaughtering these spears. And whoa, where's this push coming from? Holy crap. We have a bunch of Imperial Knights from the Holy Roman Empire. Then we have the King of Bohemia. Catapult crew, archers moving up. Big push from this side. I didn't even see that coming. I think it's because the, the defenders called a retreat. And so the attackers kind of took advantage of that. And just started forcing their way in. Pushing their way in. But uh, we got some good units. Uh, Dismounted Drazina. They're getting kind of chewed up here. Because they're not really in a good formation here. Yeah, they're already breaking. There we go. The attackers. <laughs> after losing so much and so many... I've taken the outer um, outer section of this, this settlement, and now they're going to have to start pushing on the inner part. And now the archers are already going ham. Look, at he's, he's shifted over the archers with full ammo. They're going after a catapult crew, though. Not exactly the best selection there for these guys. Oh my god, why are they wasting so much ammo on a catapult crew? There's crossbows right there that they need to kill but they're still shooting uh, again there's a lot going on he probably just didn't see it but yeah you definitely want to focus these guys down since they have full ammo now they're trying to destroy this barricade again it's an archer unit that's out of ammo it's not really worth shooting at them we got a lone swordsman Dismounted Drazina, can they make it out of this fight? Look at they're just running. They're like, oh god. Get out of here. Run, men. They are exhausted. They're winded. They're in melee. Combat even. How is combat even? They're getting They're trying Ooh, we got the we got the king's bodyguard moving in on this unit, but they're getting hit with archers. They're getting hit with crossbows, actually. And that's why the general is gonna have to back away from that. He's like, yeah. Nah, that's not good. If you lose the general at this point of this battle, it's going to be a disaster. Bohemian Knights chasing down these guys. They're still trying to make their way up this hill. They're like, help us. The crossbows are like, we are. Run. You suck. <laughs> oh, now we got the artillery coming down. Looks like the artillery is going for these, uh, these crossbows. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, pretty nasty. Pretty, pretty nasty. Nice little layered defense, but from Lithuania. And here we go. Now the archers are actually shooting at something worthwhile. Looks like they're shooting at some cav. Imperial knights. So they're trying to get out of there. Oh, big mama. Let's see. Artillery. 
Going after whatever they can, big blobs, basically. So my question here is, what do the attackers do now? What do they do now? Well, I think what they need to do is move up the archers, try to skirmish down as much as they can, and then start pushing, and, and hope that they can spare some ammo for these, uh, these axemen. But we're going to fast forward a little bit here, guys. Looks like we're just getting a big skirmish. We got the artillery firing into their lines. The crossbows moving up. Sure enough, crossbows are going to actually focus down the infantry. So they're kind of opening fire there. You can see the arrows coming in. Artillery now going to focus fire on the... Ooh, God. Look at... They're getting shredded. Let's go watch that. Look at this. This unit's getting shredded by uh, defending crossbows. And artillery and they're gonna they're gonna fall back yeah there's not much they can do here guys I mean I think they just got to go in and hope for the best and hope that a lot of artillery misses them and hope that the archers run out of ammo very quickly or the skirmishers but again it's a little bit of a standstill here so we'll fast forward once again and uh, there we go there's that skirmishing again trying to soften up this infantry making their way up this hill a little bit easier if the attackers could, I mean, look at the balance of power. It's way back in their favor again for the attacking army. So you got to give them props. Like, they did a good job of once they broke through, they, they did a good job of running down a lot of units and preventing a lot of units from being able to retreat. So you got to give them that. Um, and they can still easily win this battle based on the balance of power. Now, this is going to be a very challenging position to attack. There's only two choke points. But if you have the archer support... Sky's the limit, guys. Sky's the limit. <laughs> uh, let's see. Drazina lining up here. Got this infantry is still holding this this hill. And here we go. Here comes the push. Teutonic Knights going in for the charge. Now, that's how you start an assault. You start with Teutonic Knights. Here comes a counter charge by the dismounted Drazina trying to hold back these knights. These knights have almost 200 kills. Oof. There's a big push right here with the uh, dismounted Imperial Knights. They're causing some routing going on here. They're going to probably keep pushing after they break this unit. This unit's uh, pretty low in ammo. They have a, like a secondary ammo. Oof. And they're getting hit hard. They still have 101 men though in Dalmatians. <laughs> a little bit of a cab charge coming in from uh, Bohemian Knights. Oh. Does a good a bit of damage. But, you know, honestly, the friendly fire is probably doing more damage than anything. These Knights, that was like a suicide charge. But they are absorbing some ammo. They're going to get out of there. Try to get out of there. And we got a big brawl going on on this side. Look at this. Big brawl. I think they're going to leave this Ritter Bruder uh, still just left in the, the melee. Crossbows opening fire. Lots of breaking going on from the Teutonic Order. This is where they need to focus the archer fire on this blob. Oh no, this is too big of a break right here. Too big of a, of a break. And now we got a general charging. And look at this general. A Lithuanian general who's pretty much spent. So maybe he's just throwing in his bodyguard. Buying more time for skirmishing. Oh. Yes, the no, he died right there. He died right there. That's a loss of a general. That's pretty big right there for the Teutonic Order. They keep pushing, but they're just getting hit hard by so many projectiles and archers and arrows. and We're well, not archers. It's not like the archers are throwing themselves at them, but you get what I'm saying. Teutonic Order is having a tough time against these heavy axemen.
<laughs> so a nice little uh, tussle right there. More infantry coming up to help. We got artillery coming down on the uh, archers here, the crossbowmen. Sergeant crossbowmen trying to f probably fire back, and there's a big push right here. I think the uh, Lithuanians are feeling quite confident in the current situation of this battle, and they're actually sallying out. But they don't want to get too confident because they are opening their flank to crossbow fire. And I think, ooh. Yeah, they're going to focus these crossbows down. They are afraid of them, which they should be. They should be. But yeah, nice little bombardment from the artillery. I think they're pretty much out of ammo, guys. No, the crossbows still have some ammo, but they are starting to run out. But can they keep holding? Can they keep holding? More artillery coming down, trying to focus these crossbows. Crossbows still have full ammo. You got to get those. You got to make sure they use up their ammo before they break. Of course, archers over here getting picked off. They're trying to do their best to support the infantry as they push up this hill, but it just seems like a losing battle as more and more of these troops continue to break. And now we have a general coming out to party. We've got the uh, Kiev, Kievian Rus. The general pushing out. I think he's going to try to get around the flank. Yep, he is. Yep, he's Surrey Bob. And that's going to... Yep, that's going to cause a lot of morale issues. Oh, man. He is just running downhill. Now he's going to flank around. There we go. Yeah, big break there. That's like... I would say that's the nail in the coffin, guys. I don't think the attackers can take this one. They just don't have enough strength to push through this inner defense. Now the Cav, Imperial um, Imperial Knights, trying to get up there as well, trying to fight off the General. Maybe maybe they can kill the General. Maybe that would give them some hope. There's two Generals, so that would be both Generals. If they can kill them, then maybe they can cause a chain reaction and get them to break. Just look at these soldiers just run down the hill. Oh my god, the artillery fire is just too much, man. Oh, it is raining death on these crossbows who just trying to support the infantry as they push but they're just not killing enough and here comes even more of the defenders Oof. and they're trying to kill the general you can see the attacking generals but yeah, this battle's lost, guys. There's no way the attackers can take this. This crusade is over, and the pagans, the Lithuanians in Kiev, they will be victorious and live live for another day until the two Teutonics push out another military campaign against them. Yeah, we got the generals just trying to, I think he's trying to set up here, maybe get off another charge yeah there he goes one last charge what say you come on You're like who wants to live forever it's like i do well too bad charge so there's that charge it was kind of lame uh but <laughs> the infantry over here is breaking the archers are breaking that's it folks that is the battle and there's no way the attackers can win this so a really good defense from Lithuania and allies. I think they just, they caused the attackers to suffer too many casualties at the beginning. They just didn't have enough strength to take this inner area. I think if they all attacked right here, they would have done better. Because they would have been able to support each other. Maybe you could have left a couple siege towers over here and over there just to do an option. To send a couple units over there. But yeah, I think if they focus all of their attention over here, 
had archer fire, artillery. They would have broken through with more numbers, in my opinion. Of course, it's just my opinion. So a little bit of a general battle going on. I'm not sure what's happening, but good defense. I mean, the Lithuanians held so well on this outer area, and they fought for so long. And all the fallen Lithuanians did not die in vain as they uh, they helped those who, who survived win the battle. Look at that. Oh, just littered with bodies. So, Pyrrhic victory, indeed. It was very close. Let's end the replay and look at the results here. So, this was sent in by uh, Cassius the Fifth. So thank you everyone here who uh, played. It was awesome. And uh, holy, cr holy crap. Cassius was really smart with his reserves. But look at these kills. Look at these kills, guys. Intense. And then here's uh, Kiev. And then we look on the other side, we got Smokey. All right, there you go. So. Uh, that's going to wrap it up, guys, for today's battle. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely, we're going to try to get more uh, siege battles coming out soon of 1212 AD. Uh, but, yeah, that's going to be it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you next time on the battlefield.